live from Nationals Park in Washington, D.C. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the New York Mets and the Washington Nationals. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So almost ready to get underway and on the hill Jackson Rutledge what should we keep an eye on here try to stay back for that power changeup. speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is Leading huge hitters line. they have a hard time staying back ready to go now Rafael Ortega stands in gets the call and this one is off and running. Here comes the one. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. And a pitch. Ball one there. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. And a ball oh. evens the count. Two balls, two strikes. Got it. One up, one down. Well, he froze him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling, and you think the ball's going to get into the gutter, and somehow it just hangs on to that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. Towards first, and that's a fair ball. Well, oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No that's messing around ball. right there. The Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly oh, ready to jump all over it. Man at first with one gone. Pete Alonzo, the next to hit. Big time power. And the first offering is not close. A couple of quick nuggets on Pete Alonzo. He graduated from the same high school as Wade Boggs, Plant High School in the Tampa area. And Alonzo also played at the University of Florida. He was teammates there with Harrison Bader. Over to first, and he saved. Mauricio, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. The throw in, and he's safe. So it's first and third with one down. So one out with two aboard. And next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Francisco Lindor. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Next offering is in for a strike. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. The 1-1. One -one. Just missed. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. That one in for a strike, two and two. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball, double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strike out. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can, and let the result be whatever it's going to be. Two-two now. Good eye right there. Mark Vientos up next. Runners are at the corners, one away. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up.
The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. So bases loaded with one away. And now the first baseman, Mark Vientos. And takes low for ball one. Ground ball left side could be two. Fired to second, and that's two. These boys are ready to make a play with the bases loaded. Excellent job of execution there. You turn the double play, and the inning is over. in Washington D.C. and on the hill in this one Jose Buto. Well you don't always know what to expect with this guy in the mound to start the game. He can be really good at times and turn in some real excellent efforts. For me it'll tell us a lot to see how he's attacking the strike zone and pitching go. aggressively oh, or not. If he's doing That's that from the off. jump I think he'll be fine in this one. Bottom of the first. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. Here comes a pitch. And fouled off. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field okay. not. The 0-2. That one missed. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Next offering is foul back. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass. It's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. Have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Joey Manessis digging in for the Nationals. And ball one. is absolutely belted. Lo Castro going back. Back some more. And caught on the warning track. Not quite enough behind that one. Nationals go quietly. We played an inning. No score. Top of the second. Here's the third baseman. Brett Beatty. Brett Beatty. Yeah, the right hander back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Now fly ball to right center. Number 30 drifts towards it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. And now the it's going to be Francisco Alvarez. Francisco Alvarez. Alvarez. There's the strike. No ball. One strike. And that's in the dirt. One ball. One, ball. One strike. Swing and a miss. One it's ball. a ball and two strikes. No score here in the second. That's Struck three. him out looking. Well, oh, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And 
It's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. It's hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Now it's D.J. Stewart. Strike one. And it's one and one. Just missed. And another ball. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. They all pitch. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. 3-2. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Call makes the grab and that's the inning. Mets go down quickly. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here in Nationals Park. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Keeper Ruiz. The why to kick the pitch. That's inside. Yeah, that's ball one. And that's in there at the knees. Matthew Ross behind the plate. Pitcher's umpire. Yeah, pitchers that work side to side effectively love being on the mound with Ross calling balls and strikes, Boog. If you can command your stuff on the outer edges of the strike zone, he will reward you. In the air, out towards right center. Ortega under it. And there's one away. Here's Carter Keeboom. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing it a foul straight back. The pitch. And down on strikes. And two away now. And now up for Washington, Ildemaro Vargas. And a good eye there. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. And the 1 0 -oh misses okay. low. No, that pitch not even close. A 2 0 -oh count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. Two outs. Good eye in that spot. And he walked him. Well, two out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into that dugout. But he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. Alex Call digging in for the Nationals.
Here's a rocket out to left. And that'll do it. Nothing across. No base hits. No errors. And one man left. We played two full. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. On to the third inning. And here is Tim Locastro. Tim Locastro. Rutledge back to work. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Good eye right there. 2-0. On the ground, right side. Ruiz on to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Now that the seventh season, Rafael Ortega. So up next for New York, Rafael Ortega. Caught looking his first time up. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. And that one is in for a strike. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you'd have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit, and not an easy one to throw either. Come back into the mound. Gathers and throws to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Off-speed pitch, and it looked like he just continued his momentum towards home plate after releasing that perfect position to make a play and help himself out. Mauricio stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Swing and a miss as he was late. In this situation as the number two hitter, two out, nobody on, you want to be a table setter. Work the at-bat, get deep, whatever it takes, get on first base. The 1-1. One -one. And that one wrapped foul. Swing and a high fly ball to left. And makes the grab. And that is the third out of the inning. Down in order go the Mets. And we're still knotted at zero. And welcome back. And we here's the rookie Lord catcher, Washington. Drew Millis. The catcher. Drew Millis. The wind of the pitch. That one's in there. And that is strike one. Now oh. one and one. And a one one. Just oh, off the inside edge. Two and one. In the air, left field, down the line. Locastro racing over to make the catch. So digging in, number 30. First pitch, just misses. in there at the knees for a strike. One one. one down, base is empty. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. The batter, number five, shortstop. So the Nets lineup turns over. Now it's going to be C.J. Abrams. Went down on strikes his first time through. Sharp 
grounder. That's through for a base hit. Here's Lane Thomas. 0 for 1. He flat out to right this first trip. Ball one, no strikes. And the right hander deals. Outside. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. That one's spoiled, and the count now two to one. He's begging. Give me that pitch one more time. A hanging changeup just out in front. That oh, just man. misses. And now three balls and a strike. Joey Manessis waiting for a turn at the plate. Throw to first. Back in there standing. Abrams off of first with two away. That's towards center. Ortega in position. Brings it in for the third out. Nationals leave one. And we are still scoreless. Back here at the ballpark, Leading here's Pete Alonso. The designated hitter. Pete Alonso. The right-hander back to work. That one drifts inside. Oh, and the zone doesn't get the call. And the count is 2-0. And here it comes. Hey. That one fouled off two and two. Yeah, Righty delivers. And down on strikes he goes, and one gone. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. And now it's Frankie Lindor. Worked a walk at his first trip to the plate. And there's a base hit at the left. Waste no time there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. One gone runner at first. Mark Vientos getting ready to hit. One ball. Pitch out, but no action. The 1 0. -oh. And there's a ball. And that's down and away. Good miss with that changeup away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here on the hitter side. Nice job of laying off that pitch. And ball you, four to a board. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much no, no, gifted no. him first base with a quick free pass. Yeah, yeah. And next for the Mets, Brett Beatty. Lied out his first time. That's outside. And that is ball one. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo.
That one misses. Now two balls and a strike. Left hand hitter waits. Ground ball right side to second Abrams. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. On now to the bottom of the fourth. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back. Bottom of the fourth. And here's the first baseman, Joey Meneses. The pitch. Good eye right there. That one to first, Vientos. The flip to the pitcher covering. One up, one down. Now that second base Kiebert. Ruiz. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. That one finds the corner. Strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Going to count one and two. And a ball evens the count. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Righty to the plate. Still two and two after the foul ball. And the righty deals. That's and that's downstairs and outside. Here we go. Great. And there's ball four. The batter, eight. Carter Keeble digging in for the Nationals. He struck out swinging in his first at bat. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Ruiz leads off first with one away. Misses off the plate. Two balls, no strikes. Swang and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like you did right there. And up now for Washington, Ildemaro Vargas. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. And he deals. And a strike on the outside edge. That's through there for a strike. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Here's a one-two. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a pitch. That misses, and the count is even two and two. Way to lay off that pitch down. 
Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. So first and second with two outs. Alex Call digging in for the Nationals. And that is in for a strike. 1-1. First and second, two down. And a pitch. Hit connect on the curveball, struck him out. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Back in Washington, D.C., here's the power hitting catcher, Francisco Alvarez. Francisco Alvarez. The wind of the pitch. Late swing fouled off. Well, these Mets need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. That misses. Now one and two. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have guys in scoring position because they put themselves there. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Next pitch is outside. It's a good take. Two two now. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. A wind in the pitch. Misses inside. And now it's three and two. It's a leadoff walk. And that's the go-ahead run. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Right now it's the right fielder, DJ Stewart. Fly to left his first time up. In there, and it's 0 1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Next offering upstairs. Knocks it down. He's in there. Now batting Tim Locastro. Grounded out his first time up. Squares, pushes at it, misses it. It's a strike. It's 0-1. Bunted back towards the mound. Tosses to first, and that's an out on the sacrifice. Back to the top of the Mets order. Here's the center fielder, Rafael Ortega. First offering misses badly for ball one. The Nationals have some action going in the pen. Trevor Williams up and loosening in the pen. Number 53 warming up as well. Alvarez, the runner at third. Stewart over at second with one down. 
in the air right field pretty well struck that's back there and gone he sends it out of here and the Mets jump in front it's three nothing. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. One down. Ronnie Mauricio now. That one ripped. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Safely into second. He's got a double. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. At the belt and fires. And oh. that one almost got him. Straightened him up a little bit. The pitch. Oh. Runner at second here, one gone. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position and a hitter's count. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. Francisco Lindor, a guy who's won multiple gold gloves and a platinum glove, multiple all-star appearances. Mr. Smile, what do you think of when you contemplate the player Francisco Lindor? Just a special talent, both sides of the ball, both sides of the plate, equally a force. And one thing about... Oh, now this ball gets down. Mauricio coming home. He'll score, and it's 4-0 couple of hits in a row for him here showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way didn't get jumpy didn't try to pull the ball he let it get deep took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit manager out of the dugout now and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound Jackson Rutledge is done we'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound So they turn things over to the righty, Trevor Williams. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. And now it's Mark Vientos. First pitch, and he just misses. Right hander kicks deals. Fastball in for a strike at one and one. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that Let's bullpen. Go. Lindor the move. The one one is fouled off. Next pitch is outside. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. 
Pickoff moved to first. Lindor back in there. Got him looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. So four runs on four hits. No errors. And a runner left on. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Mets four and the Nationals nothing. Back here in Nationals Park. And now here is Drew Millis. And the pitch. That's off the mark, and it's 1 0. Well, these Nats just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Pulls it in, and there's one away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. No, no, no. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little Check bit and popped it up. Yo. Number 30 digging in for the Nationals. Flied out to center in his first at bat. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have guys in scoring position because they put themselves there. In there for strike one. One strike. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Not even close there. And the count one and two. And downstairs. The pitch. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. The batter. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And now the shortstop, C.J. Abrams. And oh. takes low for ball one. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. And a one two started to swing held up and a swing and a miss down on strikes two away down thought it was a pretty good pitch top of the strike zone we're seeing more fastballs in that location hitters especially with two strikes have to be ready to pull the trigger. Thomas in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. The pitch. Close but called a ball. A ball, one strike. Inside just missed. Two and one. Fouls one off, two and two. Oh. 
And that's outside. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Stays alive. Three-two down. Gets a piece and stays alive. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Check on the runner. And he's back in safely. Another move to first. And they're keeping him close. So now Thank two you, on and two outs. Pretty good pitch on 3-2 right around the knees, but just no help from the umpire. No, no, no. First, so first, two first. on with two away. Joey, Joey Meneses digging Meneses. in for the Nationals. Out to center. Ortega settles under this one. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. So the Nats leave a pair. They trail it here for nothing. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And stepping in for New York, Brett Beatty. And he deals. And that's in for a strike. Williams, in his seventh season, he features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a sinker, a slider, and he occasionally uses a curve. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. That's off the inside edge. It's a ball and two strikes. Hit on the ground to the right side. Into the outfield base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count. Up against it with two strikes right there. Didn't make quality contact on the ground ball to the pull side, but sometimes it's just a matter of finding the hole in the defense. Yeah, the batter now, Francisco Alvarez. Yeah, that's in there for strike one. Baden on at first, nobody out. He swings and fouls one off. And the right hander deals. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Ball one, one ball. there. One ball. Two straight. Tried to check his swing there. Now an appeal to first. Did not go. And it's filled up. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. 
frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Stewart in the box with one away as he takes ball one. One and Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. So up next, Tim Locastro. First oh. offering misses the mark. One out. Runners at first and second. Castro checks his swing. Now an appeal to first, and he held back, according to Dave Lawrence. Two and zero to Cal. Here it comes. Strike on the inside corner. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. That one finds the corner. Now three and two. Right handed reliever. Got him. That's out number two. Rafael Ortega now at the plate. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch doesn't find the zone. There's a strike. One and one. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. The one one is fouled off. Into center. And makes the play, and that's out number three. So they strand a pair. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Mets four and the Nationals nothing. Bottom of the six. Now it's the Nationals cleanup hitter, Hebert Ruiz. Ruiz. The pitch. In the air, right field. Makes the catch. One down. Lefties can definitely be a little pull happy up there, especially with pitches that they see pretty well. That was a good example. He hooked an outside pitch, hit that ball in the air to right, just not with much authority. Keyboom measures six feet two inches, 210 pounds. He's usually a third baseman, but today he's the designated hitter. And here it comes. In there at the knees, that is strike two. A little bit of a day off for him. Instead of being at the hot corner, he can just kind of put the batting gloves on, hold the bat as he sits on the bench, waiting for his time to hit. Next one just misses. And the count one and two. Next pitch misses. The count now two and two. It's softly on the ground to third. And he grabs it foul.
The next pitch misses. Full count now. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. On the ground. He handles it himself. Two up, two down. Up next, the third baseman. Two outs, base is empty. Now the third baseman, Ildemaro Vargas. Just missed. The next offering misses. And now 2 0. And a pitch. Just missed. Downstairs, oh. and it misses oh, oh. ball four. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short, starting to show some signs of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. Two outs, runner at first. Here's the left fielder, Alex Call. Slapped foul. Vargas off of first with two away. Swing and a miss struck him out. So one left for Washington. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. Back here at the ballpark. Now the number two hitter, Ronnie Mauricio. The right hater back to work. Now one missed. Activity in the Washington bullpen. Hunter Harvey looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. Rainey getting loose as well. Next offering is down low, and it's 2 0. Oh. He was late there, strike one. Well, he came right at him right there, challenged him with the 2-0 fastball. Not sure exactly what he was looking for, but got to imagine that's a confidence booster on the mound. You're in that hitter's head a little bit. Three one now. Rolled slowly to first. Oh, and it hits the base. He beats it out, and the tapper turns into an infield single. No, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. Pretty much did the opposite of what you want to do with the pitch on the outside part of the plate like that. Just rolled over, but good hustle down the line and got the infield knock. Man at first, and now the DH, Pete Alonzo. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Swings through that one for strike one. I think he was sitting off speed there. Bounce back to the mound. And it gets by him. Up next for the net, the short shot, Francisco Lindor. Now up to hit, Francisco Lindor. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run.
First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue, finish off this hitter. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. Nothing happening as the count evens at one. First and second here, no outs. Lined, and that's a base hit. Mauricio, rounds third, headed for the plate. He will score, and the lead is up to five. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Nice line drive with the whole side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Vientos up now for the Mets. Pitch is in for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. No outs. Runners at first and third. Next pitch is downstairs. This one in the air center field. He's there. He's got it. Runner tags from third. The throw is offline and he's in to score. And it's now a six run lead. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. Brett Beatty up now for the Mets. Hard on the ground to first to second Abrams and it's a double play to end the inning. So two runs in the inning on three hits no errors and no one left on seventh inning stretch time. It's the Mets six and the Nationals nothing. New pitcher on here Trevor got. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him. So he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. Trevor And now the switch hitting catcher, Drew Millis. The catcher. Drew Millis. The wind of the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Activity in the bullpen. Tyler McGill getting ready to go. Bickford getting cranked up as well. And the 1-0. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. a one two swings through it and that's a strikeout pretty nasty cutter right there and you're seeing that pitch that location a lot more these days and you can see why very difficult for hitters I think the great Mariano Rivera can at least partially be credited for that thanks to the career he had with the cutter it was just dominant I tell you what I felt like it was a moral victory whenever I could put that pitch in play so I can feel for the guy right there walking back to the dugout number 30 digging in for the Nationals pitch misses oh. ball one righty to the plate Pitch is in there, and the count is one and one. And he takes a strike. The wide, the kick, and the one-two. And that's a strikeout looking. 
Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Back to the top of the lineup, C.J. Abrams digging in for the Nationals. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two down, nobody on. Ripped to short. And he beats it with room to spare. Well, fortunately, they've got a big lead on the scoreboard, so that error shouldn't hurt too much. But you have to be careful about losing concentration in a game like this. It can be an easy trap to fall into. Next to hit, Lane Thomas. In there, and it's 0 1. No ball, one strike. The pitch. And ball one. One ball, one strike. Ground ball right side and foul ball. Abrams leads off first with two down to the inning. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Back against the wall with two strikes, but up, found up, a way. Up, up, up. 112 miles per up, hour, the ball seven. seemed to explode Yay. off the bat right there. He put Never everything ever. together on that swing, so that's one of those knocks that feels a little extra sweet. Digging in, Joey Manessis. Lace to right center, base hit. Abrams around third. One run is in. Thomas around third. Back to back base hits. A well deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. So next will be the four hole hitter for the Nationals, Hebert Ruiz. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Runner at second, two down. And that one missing low. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. Two zero, and a foul ball. Runner leads away at second. Smash to the left side. Tosses to first. Out number three. So two runs, two hits, one error, and one left on. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Mets six and the Nationals two. Hunter Harvey gets the call from the pen. Number 73. Hunter Harvey. Francisco Alvarez up now for the Mets. A strikeout and a walk. Francisco Alvarez. And a pitch. Outside. Let's go, Nets. 
Hard ground ball, base knock. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. Next to hit, DJ Stewart. First pitch, not close. Kicks and fires. Hit hard, base hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Now here is Tim Locastro. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Here comes Alvarez around third. One run across. He's in there. It's a two. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. And now the center fielder, Rafael Ortega. Way inside, gets out of the way. The 1 0. And that one upstairs. Lo Castro leads off second with nobody out. And now two balls and a strike. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Man, it's second. And now it's filled up. Careful. Looking. One gone here. Ronnie Mauricio up now for the Mets. Ronnie Mauricio. First pitch just misses. And that oh, one is inside. inside. Two and zero to Cal. Here it comes. Back up the middle and a base hit. Lo Castro coming home. He scores, and they're pulling away up by seven now. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Now on the mound for the Nationals, Tanner Rainey. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Man at first with one gone. Pete Alonzo up now for the Mets. First offering misses the mark. And the righty deals. Base hit, center field. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. 
Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive into center field. Lindor in the box here, lets that one go for a ball. The 1-0. And another ball. The Nationals have some action going in the pen. Jordan Weems preparing to come on if needed. Number 47, the lefty, warming up as well. That one close, ruled a ball. Three balls, no strikes. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Bases loaded with one away. So up next for New York, Mark Vientos. And the first offering is not close. Righty delivers, and yeah, that's outside. Pressure's on right here. 2-0 count, base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three-ball count and then walk in a run. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. 2-0. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. That one misses. Three and one now. Three and one. one out, base is full. Next pitch has popped up. Vargas drifts towards it. Pulls it in, and there's two away. Oh, that's a frustrating at bat right there. Big opportunity now, and just that. missed third it. I know he wanted to do some right, damage. Right. Next guy will have to Beatty. pick him up. Here's the third baseman, Brett Beatty. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. First ball pitch one. doesn't find the zone. One ball, no straight. Right. Swings through that. Instead one of letting one. the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Pitch misses there, and a count two and one. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. And the next pitch is way outside. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Base is loaded, two down. Good job to fight that one off. Left hand hitter waits. Ball four, and a run comes in to score. He's really gotten himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the wall. This inning's definitely getting away from him. Francisco Alvarez up now for the Mets. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this. Um, but yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. That's inside, and yeah, that's ball two. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. All loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate. Right. 
Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Alonso on third. Lindor over at second. Baden at first, two out of the inning. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. So they do get four runs across, but they end up leaving the bases loaded. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Mets 10 and the Nationals 2. Welcome back. Bottom of the eighth. Now it's the DH. Carter Kibu. Carter Kibu. Got back to work. And a strike in there. Oh and one. And it's quickly nothing in two on the designated hitter. Pitch misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Struck him out without a swing. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Well, it's a nice job with the cutter right there. He didn't exactly catch the corner of the zone, but that's one of those where the late movement probably fooled the umpire a little bit. Those guys do not have an easy job. I thought it was a good take overall, and, you know, it's one of those things where you leave it in the umpire's hands, you just don't know what the answer is going to be, and that time he lost. And here is Ildemaro Vargas. That's in there. Strike one. And there's a ball. Next offering is down low. Kicks and deals. Hit weakly on the ground. Lindor. Now the throw to first on the run. Two up, two down. Up next to Washington. No left field here. Alex Call. Alex Call digging in for the Nationals. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. And that no, just misses. One and two. That's no. a little bit low. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. And now it's three and two. And that's, that's ball low. four. Ball four. Take base. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw now it now really now. well. Catcher. It's a really nice plate Whoa. appearance. Runner at first Miller. with two away. Drew Millis digging in for the Nationals. In there for strike one. Swing and a miss. Got him. That's the inning. Nationals leave one, and the deficit stays at eight. It's 10 2. All set to start the ninth in this one. And stepping in for New York, DJ Stewart.
and a pitch. Just missed. Activity in the Washington bullpen. Jordan Weems, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. That one off the mark. Two balls, no strikes to count. And he grounds one back up the middle. Can't glove it cleanly. And oh no, it's out of play. Just a terrible throw there. And next for the Mets, Tim Locastro. A chance for more damage right here. A couple of RBIs for him in his last A-B. There's a strike. And it's fouled away. Stewart at second with nobody out. In the dirt, it's a ball and two strikes. Out towards left center. That one gets down for a hit. Call, throws to second, the tag, ow! He can't scramble back in time. Now here is Rafael Ortega. He's already homered in this game. That one's in there on one. The pitch. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. That one outside. It's a ball and two strikes. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. That one ran inside, almost got him. Right-hander kicks, deals. Fights it off, he'll see another. Three balls, two strikes to count. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Mauricio at the, at the plate now. That's ball well, one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Throw over to first, and he's back in standing. The pitch. Hammer, base hit. All over that one right there. No, that's that's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way oh, wow. early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Now, Pete Alonzo. Well struck left field. Way back there. And out of here. Pete Alonso takes him deep, and they add on. It's 13-2. 
When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. On to pitch now for the Nationals, Jordan Weems. He's into the game with the bases empty. Jordan Weems. Here's Francisco Lindor. That one catches the zone. That's strike one. And the right hander deals. In there at the knees. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Here comes a pitch. And down on strikes. And that is that. The Pete Alonzo blast for the Mets. On now to the bottom of inning number nine. You're dialed into the show. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Tyler McGill. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Here's the center fielder, number 30. The center fielder. The pitch. That one missed. McGill, in his second season, he features a four seam fastball, a changeup, a slider, a curve, and occasionally uses a cutter. And it's even up. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. And a pitch. That clips the corner. One and two. The one, two. Bows it back with two strikes. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No swing. And a pitch. On the ground right side. Oh, he gloves it over to first. It's there, and that's a great play. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. So the batting order turns over. Now it's the shortstop, C.J. Abrams. That one blasted deep to right. That's back there. It bangs off the wall. The relay to third. He is safe. It's a triple. Just missed out on the homer. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. Lane Thomas will hit next. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. Misses off the play. One and oh. Abrams stands at third with one gone in the inning. Yeah, the pitch is in for a strike. And the count one and one. Action in the pen down there. Drew Smith up and throwing. Oh. 
The one one is fouled off. At the belt and fires. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. No, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Joey Manessis digging in for the Nationals as the Nationals are down to their final out. Started after the 0 1 pitch and now a check down to first. And he went, says Dave Lawrence. The 0 1. Next offering is outside. And a count one and two. Right-handed reliever. Got him looking. Ball game. Well, I don't know what they did in the cage today or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now, but more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out, score, and get another W. And the final 13-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.